today on Divorce Court. I'm here today on Divorce Court to find out if I'm the father of Tavisha's three-year-old son. The biggest issue is communication. When we started our relationship, there was a lot of lying going on. Stavisha has stayed in contact with exes of hers. She constantly is texting and talking to them over the phone. When I found out Robert put a tracker on my phone, I was infuriated. If you're trying to trust someone, why would you put a tracker or tracer on their phone? I would like the judge to tell Stavisha to work on her honesty. Robert, I need you to start trusting me more and to communicate with me more before we could go forward with anything. Divorce court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Stavisha Bowers and Robert Woody. Ms. Bowers, you are 34 years old. You have eight children. You're pregnant with your ninth. Robert Woody, you are 39 years old and you have six children. Are any of the children between you two? Uh, one, possibly. One, and possibly. One but we're not sure. That's correct. All righty. Uh, you've been on this show before. Yes. And I actually remember you. I don't remember it often, but, but, but this I remember, and I want to take a brief look at what happened the first time you came. I had one fling. You had one and that, fling. And that was because we were swinging. Me, Because her, you, and... you were both swinging. Yeah. And explain how the swing became a, became a fling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it became a fling because um, the night we, we swang, me and the other guy couldn't perform. Three days later, um, she called me up and said she was um, curious. She wanted to finish with what we had started. So about a week or two later, um, me and her hooked up. So you and your husband at the time had a fling with Mr. Woody. Yes, that's correct. And then you got rid of him, and now you went with Mr. Woody. That's correct. All righty. Tell me what ended your relationship with your first husband and how you ended up with Mr. Woody. Me and Ira had had a... We set up the swinging thing with Mr. Robert. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us really felt comfortable about the swinging. Okay. Not something that we really wanted to do. So me and him really didn't perform. It was more so trying to see what the they other were two doing. were doing. Uh -huh. They ended up hooking up several times after that. And that's what sort of kind of helped in the marriage. But then, too, it was a lot of, you know, of verbal abuse and things of that nature. Well, you say he was very controlling. Yeah, he was controlling half, most of the time because he was cheating the whole time we were married. Okay. Mr. Woody, you say that there is a, a child that you believe is yours with her, or you're not really sure? Um, there's a possibility, Your Honor, but I'm not really sure. We understand about that possibility, and I do have the DNA test, so we, we're going to put that to bed at some point. To bed was an awful phrase to you, <laughs> but be that as it may, we will end that concern at some juncture here. Um, tell me how you two hooked up. Um, after the show, after we taped that and I left here, I kind of put Ira, kicked him to the curb. Robert came back into the picture maybe four months roughly after that because mm -hmm. by then his marriage had ended as well. And we became friends and I started our relationship with the friend possibility. Now, did I think we were gonna get to this point? No, but as time progressed and feelings grew, we ended up together. Okay, Mr. Woody, do you have any concerns, given the manner in which this relationship began, as to whether or not you can really trust her? Uh, yes, I do, Your Honor. I have a, a lot of trust issues with, um, with Stavisha, uh, just due to the fact how everything has gone on and uh -huh. um, due to the fact she still has a problem uh, with reaching out to other men. Okay. Why don't you give me some examples of the, some of the things she does that give you pause? Uh, well, Your Honor, she lies about reaching out to other men. I've, um, uh, she recently had uh, logged on to her Facebook um, with my phone, and she forgot to log off. So, therefore, when she receives any kind of messages, it comes through on my phone. So uh, she was totally unaware of that, so she was uh, conversating and uh, chatting with other men on the phone, unaware that I was receiving... Receiving all of the messages. What was going on? What was being said? A few of her exes, you know, were complimenting her and, you know, trying to get her to come through and hang out. And uh, when I brought it to her attention, you know, she would deny it. So she denied it for a while until I 
kind of showed her the evidence that I had. Yeah, just like right on the phone. Yeah. It was just reading through your thread. Were you doing anything inappropriate, Ms. Bowers, with your exes? I wasn't doing anything inappropriate. And he has every right not to trust me because when we started our relationship, it was a secret. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of lying going on. And I can't honestly say I did have a lying problem because I lied about our relationship. But as far as me reaching out to other men, other men have reached out to me. The one in question that he found the um, phone conversation with is the mm -hmm. other gentleman that might possibly be uh, the baby's father. Right. But at that but point... It, so the baby, the three-year-old... Yes. It's not your first husband's baby. No. You know that for sure. We know that for certain. So it could be him or this other dude. Correct. That's what we're trying to figure out here today. Yes. Okay. And so that's all true, but I didn't know he was going to take it and start playing Inspector Gadget with me. But he did. So with that phone stuff, the only reason why I actually believe that he did have the proof is because, like he said, he screenshotted some stuff and then sent it to my phone. So he asked me the question, and then he followed up with the proof that with, he had. With the proof that he and had it, yeah. I was still going to deny was it. Was because... it sexting? Was there any inappropriate conversation no, going on? No, it was on? just more so him complimenting me, telling me I had a beautiful family and so forth. You know, he was trying to hook back up with me, but it wasn't anything inappropriate from my side. Is so. that true? It was a one-sided, he was reaching out, but she wasn't reaching back? Oh, she was reaching back as well. She's trying to make me believe that chatting and texting is not cheating. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she feels like it was okay to do what she was doing. Well, I understand you put a tracker on her phone. Yes, Your Honor, I did. Did she know about it, or nope. did you do it slyly? No, I did it slyly. And did it produce any results? Yes, it did. Tell me what you found out as a result of the tracker. Uh, there's one instance um, where there was a gentleman hitting, uh, uh, contacting her a while back, and I asked her if she could please stop uh, being in contact with him. So right. she said she stopped contacting him. So I put the tracker on her phone, and then, you know, I'm checking my tracker, and I see all these deleted messages in her phone. So then I asked her about it. So, hey, have you talked to such and such? She would deny it constantly. It got to the point to where I got fed up, and I finally showed her, like, look, so you haven't been talking to this person, but yeah, all the messages are in there, asking for him, you know what I'm saying, to write her and so do this. So did you deny that you had been in contact with this man and he had proof that you had been? Yes, I denied it in the very beginning. Uh-huh. Why? I, I, well, if, if, if nothing I know untoward insecure, was going on. Because I know he's an insecure person and he's already having doubts about me cheating, so I didn't want to give him what he already I, I, had. Now, work with me on this. You in a relationship with a dude who's insecure, got reason not to trust you in the beginning because you were cheating on somebody else with him, wouldn't it behoove you not to do things that would cause him concern as opposed to doing things and hiding them? Yeah, but he's not so innocent himself. I just, I'm not going through the lengths that he's going. I'm not putting trackers and trash. He's a truck driver. Right? He's on the road a lot of times. And that's every and time like, I'm gone, Your Honor, that's when all this stuff is happening. Yeah, but I'm you know, a when I'm at believer. Home, when I'm at home, Your Honor, with the Papa family and the kids... Papa was a rolling stone. He can have kids in all different states. There's, I there's never nothing going know. on. When but I'm, do you have any evidence of it? Like I said, I, I haven't caught him cold, hard. I got you. I got you. Next, I want to talk about both of your families, because I believe neither one of your families likes either one of you. My family were just set against it, like, that's not right. Um, I even had a family member offer him money to try to talk me into having an abortion. Of the baby that we don't know whose it is. That's correct. No, the one in her stomach, Your Honor. Not oh, this one? Yeah. Yes. My first responsibility is to my children and not to a man that wants to degrade me and put me down. When I met him, he didn't have anything, nothing. Now, that was a clip from your first appearance with, with your husband at the time, correct? That's correct. Your husband was good friends with him. That's correct. And that's the reason why your families don't think you two should be together. Is that accurate? That's correct. Explain that, what they have said to you about that. So, basically, due to the fact that I was introduced to Robert and to his um, ex at the time, um, him and Ira were really good friends. They, I believe they are childhood friends. Um, in the very beginning, I think a lot of people had their reservations on, I think they might be doing something, but no one really had concrete evidence. Because, like I said, he was like a secret. It, me and him were each other's secrets. So, we didn't really come clean, but when we did come clean, yeah, my family were just set against it, like, that's not right, you guys shouldn't be together. Um, I even had a family member offer him money to try to talk me into having an abortion. 
of the baby that we don't know whose it is. That's correct. Okay. No, the one in her stomach, Your Honor. Not oh, this yet. one? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Now, you're sure this one's yours? Yes, Your Honor. How come you sure? Ooh. The dates match up? No. The dates match up? <laughs> his dates and I mean, you, you, you have questions about her infidelity in general. Yes, well, the time she conceived, though, I, you know, I kind of checked my calendar and, you know, check my, my tracker and everything. And every, so. Everything, just, everything, everything, everything so. seemed to be, yeah, be copacetic. Every, everything It seemed up. to be a problem. Okay. Yes, all right, all right. You say your family thinks everything that happened throughout this entire convoluted course of, of romance is your fault. Yeah, they do. Well, they feel like we both should be with other people. I'm not saying they feel like I should be back with my ex. Mm -hmm. But I know for sure his family definitely wants him back with his ex, without a doubt, because I've been banned from family members' houses. You've been working. banned from his family members' houses? Yeah. Mr. Woody, what is your family's opinion of your relationship with Ms. Bowers? Uh, they don't approve of the relationship because of just everything that's gone on. Because of the way it transpired? The way it do transpired. Do they not like her personally? No, it's not a personal thing whatsoever. It's just they feel like we shouldn't have got involved with each other just based on the history. that. Because it's messy. Yeah, it's messy. Because you have children with the guy you came here first. Is there any complications on that end? Robert does get kind of upset sometimes when me and Ira do deal with each other because we still have, we still share sure. four children together. And it's kind of, the dynamics is kind of weird because the kids went from knowing him as Uncle Woody <laughs> to now. Mommy's man. <laughs> yeah. Uncle Woody so. is now the main man at the crib. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's not so much a problem for me because they're older now and they understand and see mm -hmm. mom wasn't happy with dad. You know, things just didn't work. But as other adults, yes, they feel like it's weird and we shouldn't be doing it. Does Ira have a problem with Mr. Woody being the main man now? I'm not gonna say he has a problem, but sometimes he finds himself calling me at weird hours of the night trying to reminisce on what used to be. Really? Yeah. Do you know about that? Um, at times I find out about it, but I'm mainly on the road when this is going on. So, we're gonna move on to your belief that Mr. Woody is very insecure. And we're gonna find out why you believe that and if it's true. If you're constantly accusing someone of doing something, eventually you're gonna find something when you're looking. Mm -hmm. If he's not looking, he's not gonna find anything. If I didn't and look, I would never know. Yes, I, would, I would never I know what's going on. Heard. How would you react if your spouse suggested swinging with another couple? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. You say Mr. Woody's insecure. Why do you, why do you believe that? Because who goes through the lengths to put SMS trackers and tracers and all that on your phone? And then you gotta corroborate, you gotta check with people in general about certain things. I might be in the restroom, I might be cooking, something, and he might call in just because I don't answer his phone call at that present point in time. I'm either face chatting or I'm texting somebody else. I can't say that that wasn't the case in the beginning because it was because <laughs> we were just it's dating. Still it. It's still you know? happening now, Your Honor. But... It's still happening now, Your Honor. <laughs> but at the same time, we both have had our share of trust issues without a doubt. And I feel like that's our biggest barrier through it all. But his is just a little bit more crazy because I'm not fixed to put no tracker. If I got to put a tracker on you or a treasure, I don't want to be with I you. I don't want to be with you. Mr. Woody, do you Your feel Honor. like... She trusts you as much as she contends? Uh, yes, I do. However, if she didn't give me the reason to feel the way I feel and right. didn't give me this evidence... Well, we can stop right there. At the end of the day, how did we meet? Right. So you knew all of this when we started doing what we was okay, doing. But she, so therefore, but, you can't but, hang but, on. But she's still lying, Your Honor, about conversations and texting and stuff, and, and then she'll apologize for it and ask me to forgive her, and then I'll go to work, and I'll be gone for a few days, and then it just happens all over again. And so, you know, then she'll try to, oh, well, uh, I was talking to him because of this, or I was talking to him because of that, or he's helping my relative out, or he's helping my, you know what I'm saying? Just making excuses. You, yeah, you always got a reason to be talking yes. to some dude that really you got no business talking to. Is At that all. true? Whatsoever. So then she wonders why I feel the way that I feel, Your Honor. I'm going to say yes and no, because since the first incident that he's speaking of... When was the last incident? Uh, that was over a month ago. A month ago? This is like a week ago, Your a Honor. A whole 30 days. <laughs> Your Honor, it's been like I a week. I haven't done anything suspect in 30 days. I do not know why you are so insecure. Your Honor, it's Mrs. been like a week, Bowers. Your Honor. A 
a week, 30 days, doesn't matter. Still sounds ridiculous, Miss Bauer. Oh! You sound like such a reasonable person, doesn't she? Does. She presents as rational. Mm -hmm. You could go professor over there. You speak well, you look great, and, and you make these decisions that aren't so responsible, which but I at understand. All. And that's why I apologize, because I rationalize. I, I know I make lots of excuses, and I can stand here and be accountable for my excuses, because it's not acceptable. But at the same time, if you're constantly accusing someone of doing something, eventually you're going to find something when you're looking. Mm -hmm. If he's not looking, he's not going to find anything. If I didn't that look, I would never know. Yeah, see, I would, I would never I've know what's ever going on. Heard. <laughs> My husband can look through my phone for hours. He can track me. He can put a device on me. No matter how hard he looks, he can't find something that's not there. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you do what you want when you want. Mm -hmm. You really do. You know, he on the road. You want some male not companionship. Really. I know, you, really, because I got kids do. at home. I got kids. Nah, 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 nah. It hasn't stopped you yet. You're on the ninth one. <laughs> not enough TV. I understand, Mr. Woody, that you do have uh, have real concerns about the paternity of the child that you have been told is yours. Yes, sir. And I'm going to figure out why you have those concerns, and we'll try to resolve. Would you approve of your partner continuing communication with their ex? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. So, Mr. Woody, with respect to the three-year-old, your concerns are based on what? Um, I know that there's a possibility that, um, that I could be the father. However, some of the timeline doesn't match up. Uh, right, Your Honor. right. Was she seeing another guy around the time that this baby was conceived? Yes, she was. I do found you know that out this afterwards. other guy? Uh, no, I do not. She told you about this other guy? Uh, I was told through the grapevine about him. Oh, so you heard about this yeah. other guy? Yes. Did you think you were exclusive at the time that you found out about this other guy? Uh, yes, I did. Were you too exclusive when the other guy kind of happened? Uh, maybe in his mind we was exclusive. I thought we was just having a good time. I, you know, I didn't know we was exclusive, so, you know. It news to you. <laughs> yep. But you don't know which one. Do you got a good guess? Yeah, I got a good guess. I believe it's the other... The other guy. Yes. Does the other guy know that it might be him? Yeah. But at the same time, in his mind, because my son looks so much like my other children and looks like... Like him. Yeah, he's just like, that's probably his daddy. That's who you need to be getting child support from. How big a town do you live in? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's big, though. It's not like Cheers, where everybody knows your name. Well, I do have a unique name, so you never know. A few people know it. <laughs> I, got, I must say, a few people know it. Listen... Uh, you have eight children, three different fathers. That's correct. And possibly a fourth. Yes. With a, a, a ninth child on the way. Yes. And, Mr. Woody, you have six different children with how many different mothers? Five. Five different mothers. Yes. And, she'll and be that's the sixth. including her. No, that's not. No, her. that's not including her. So right. this will be the sixth. Mm -hmm. This will mother. be my seventh child. Seventh child, six. but with six different mothers. Yes. And two possibly with her, but one definitely with her. Yes. I hope I cleared that up. <laughs> All right. Gonna take some time off, figure where we're gonna go from here, and uh, we'll resolve your paternity issue at that time. Thank you, Your This Honor. matter is temporarily adjourned. I don't reach out to a lot of my exes or to men. They reach out to me. And you respond back. And I do. It's the reach back problem that yes. we have here. Yes. She went out and spent $400 on a iPhone Mind you, we already have phones, so there was no need for this phone, which gives me reason to believe why she needed a secret phone to do something. Are you worried about it, You're the paternity of that three-year-old? If I am the father, you know, I would have liked to have known this three years ago. So have you not thought that this was your child all along? This is just, you know, just brought to my attention just recently.